Charles is pushing him from short tunnel as well. A woman doesn't have any armor here, and surely that's a utility set just dropped on the ground there. Mm -hmm. Peachy going to try and speed things up into the dirty water, but Jam Young out onto long. <gasps> Olivia's whiffed them all, and Jam Young turns that fight in his favor. Three on four, he's quickly into the A-bomb site. Not surprising to see him push through that smoke as well to really just pressure STK off from the site and allow the rest of Vici to get on there, get that bomb plant down. Advent's going to have to turn his attention to the bottom of bathrooms, and so too will Jam Young. It's just Kaze on the side here, but with a Glock at this close range, you know what kind of damage he could do. Doesn't quite flick around in time to deal with STK. Jam Young does have a favorable plan for him, but he needs to hit heads. He's looking for him, and he hit all the wrong ones. Unfortunately, STK was the one that was on the defuse. Foreman just about wins it, but not quite, and STK gets the better of Jam Young as well. Starts to fall apart a little bit for Vici on this force ooh, ooh, ooh. bias. STK, he triples up and this will be a quad for him as well. Beautiful. Plenty of people who can fill that kind of role. You never know. It's not going to be aggression actually out from beyond here as they start to lurk through the monster tunnel. A pop flash and Kaze is completely blind. Almost a master stroke for beyond, but they do end up getting traded down. Orman's going to continue to push through that smoke and... KNTZ with the MP7 has found himself a couple of kills and upgrades to the MP, uh, the M4, I should say. Now STK rotating back over to this A side of the map where Olivia was left solo with the AWP. Let's say that's gone very well for beyond some aggression. They get in the face of Vici, they start to be disruptive, get that man advantage, but it's not out of the realms of possibility that Zoking in his current form can just turn this round around. STK walking out and giving the man advantage back. Even stakes between them and Vici. Now it's all on Olivia trying to hold from bank. Oh, you had some words about Olivia just before. He does miss that one. A relatively straightforward shot for him. Oh, he's tagged Jam Young through the truck, so a little bit of damage. Yeah. No tag on the bomb planter. Not that time either. And Vici do what they set out to. Let's get the bomb down, find some good post plants. Without some utility here beyond, it's going to be a really tough retake. They have got a kit, but there's no smoke, only one flash. Time's really running out, and they haven't even gotten into the bomb site yet, which means they're not going to be left with very much time to clear out the bathrooms, to clear out long. And now you can see that counter utility from Vici. It just makes life way too easy. That was... A really, really easy one to predict because Vici just had every card in their back pocket and Beyond had absolutely nothing. With ease, but Beyond, I mean, all tournament long have been struggling to hold this one. Indeed, and they're potentially going to struggle to do that again, though Zoking actually not able to convert that kill onto Myrols, continues to spray at the Toxic Barrels and now runs out of ammo. That gives KNTZ a double kill where he nearly turns it into three. That was almost huge from KNTZ and... In the end, it actually falls onto STKs to do most of the work in holding on the B bomb site late in the round. Orman. A little bit of a kiss in the smoke. Doesn't recognize that he's actually run into Olivia there. I don't think Olivia knows it either. Oh. Oh! Ooh. Wipe the sweat away from your brow there, Orman. I don't know why he's shot so early. He almost gave away his position and died to the AWP, but okay. All 38 seconds. This is a good angle for SDK, but he's caught in transition. Allman. Oh, Zoking. Great flash from Allman as well. Yep. That's a very standard play. It is, actually. I was just thinking that. I'm like, that's literally, like... The most standard thing. Exactly what you want to see from Vici. You know? <laughs> Allman flashing, Zoking in, and they get the entry. It's like... It's like, here's a part of the map we want to take. One plus two equals three. Again, just flashes into a certain part of the map. Should be a double pick maps from Jam, Jam Young and Kaze. Oh, Only need one. Not even going to be needed. Jam Young just to drive by. <laughs> you see him in the screen. You see him pop up on the scope, and you're like, uh oh, me dead. <laughs> he hasn't stopped moving, has he? He's all the way into the A bomb site. Full of energy, this guy. And he's going to keep going. Look at those stickers. What are those stickers on his AK? Where will he stop? Nobody knows. 
Well, he doesn't exactly have any of his own stickers yet. No, but like, it's like, what is that? Like a, a smiley face in a Master Chief thing? I Master Chief helmet? Yeah, it kind of looks like it, actually. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I've not seen that sticker either. And funnily enough, it was on uh, someone else's gun just there as well. Yeah, Kiki's, I think. The M4. I feel like that's kind of beyond, like, tooth to grin. What else can you really do at this point? You know? Uh, Zoking was fully flashed that whole time. Okay, final round of the half. Not sure that it is going to be a particularly kind one on Beyond. They have barely any utility at all. They're using, they've used all of it. Seeming like Vici are probably just going to go back towards B at the end of the round. Kuki's looking for information and Kaze just posted up. Which, by the way, he really hasn't had a whole lot to do here on the T side. No, That's definitely probably not. one of the first CTs you've seen. Because Zoki's doing... Oh, actually doesn't manage to win that duel. So that's excellently done by my rolls. Nice little off angle. Ooh, Orman again. Another decent entry from him. That's actually B site more or less cracked open. But the bomb's not going to be... Or is it? Just waiting to see what Jam Young can do. How about that? Not his best work. I'll give, give you that, Jordan. Luckily for Vici, that's going to more or less ensure that the bomb does head to B. And wow, Orman makes it look way too easy. Oh, I think that's the half over. One of those halves, isn't it? Indeed. Irols and QQ just walk onto the bomb side. It feels like I'm watching Vici play the T side right now. Kaze gets smashed through the smoke as well. And Orman cops a headshot as well, <laughs> down to one HP. So, not looking too fancy there for Vici on the CT side pistol. It's gone rather well for Beyond, hasn't it? Yep. <laughs> Myrolls just bonks his head on the roof in this second half. Look at Advent though. He's already got a flashbang Look out. Look at Jam Young. He's like a bunny rabbit. He's bouncing up and down. Now he's standing in fire. Oh! He's actually killed QQ and I've broken the chair. I've actually broken my chair. <laughs> How's he managed to do that? I'll take it. Through the up. flash. Advent, he's up behind the smoke here. Orman with the MAC-10 as well is making pretty good work of that. But two more trades come back for Beyond. As it comes into a two-on-two. -two. Bomb starting to go down. Kaze seeing what he can find through the smoke from heaven. So King up on short. Actually does find the angle onto Olivia. So it's all on KNTZ up on the pillar. Actually catches Kaze as well into a one-on-one. -on -one. This will be a great Ooh. round for Beyond to win. And he's done it. Here in Road to Rio. Slow and steady though from Beyond. 19 seconds. They have to get into the A-bomb site. There's smokes down. Kaze started off nicely. And I'd say he's probably going to get another one or two here. He might not need to get much more than that though. Because Orman and Zoking have finished it off. And where's QQ? He's down on the B site. Having a bit of a QQ. A little bit of a cry because the rest of his team's dead. But my rolls actually continues to push on through that. Vici have three up toward the side here. Oh. Kaze, shotgun orps QQ as he walks through the smoke. Orman's still alive and he's really the danger man right now. And he is a man with a plan. Works his way around behind the default bomb plan spot. Easy kill onto Olivia, easy kill onto STK. And it's looking like it might end up being an easy round here for Vici as well. KNTZ oh. falls to Orman. Spam for a moment. <laughs> He's really feeling it today, isn't he? Everything that Orman shoots seems to connect. Not a badly timed nade, but does just go a little bit too deep to do much more damage than that tiny tickle onto Olivia. Jam Young, though, he's going to grab a couple. Orman's managed to hit his 30k. 30k, 30 frags in the round. And Myrold, he's keeping it alive for the moment for Beyond, but he's on his own, and it wasn't quite a 